As you get older, you get more nostalgic about everything. You know, once I got 30s and now I'm in my early 40s, it's just like everything that you remember as you were a kid, you just love it. So we got all the old game systems, just anything kind of retro, we just love it. But yeah, people do look at you a little funny because the first thing they think is they, they think you've made a video game because that's the first thing people think of. But you know, you tell them it's a board game, they're kind of like, oh, okay, because most people feel like you know board games are those eight games that they sell in Target. Probably when I was seven or eight years old, I used to create games and uh, just like little board games back then, just sitting at the kitchen table. So that's, I guess that's where it all came from. I mean, it was definitely a challenge. We learned so much um, about how to produce a game, a board game. I mean, there's a lot more components and everything involved in this than we were used to with our previous releases. And This project is so much bigger than the ones we did before. Yeah, all of our energy is in this, but we do have other games that we've done. But right now we're handling everything out of our house, out of our garage. That's been a very difficult, challenging, Thing, even at the level we're at, which is rather small. The first card game we did paid for the second, the second card game paid for this. Now this has got to do well enough to pay for something else to happen. We both have full-time jobs, so this is just something we do in our spare time, kind of a hobby as well as a company. You said I'm more the creative side, she's more the editor side. So every component in the game, we both created together. And it took us a full year of working really hard at night, every night, and you know, on, on the weekends, and working with the artist that did the illustrations from play testing over and over. We played it hundreds of times. It was, we had to build a, a good solid foundation that was still difficult, but able to be made more difficult in the future. It's a, it's a great game for families and groups that way, because uh, there's really a lot of player interaction and talking, and, and the die roll mechanic, of course, brings in a lot of laughs. <laughs> As far as we know, this is not something that's been done before. In our game, you really need to kind of like, like marbles almost. You're trying to kind of shoot the die. Um, so it's always fun to watch people figure out, okay, I can't really aim when I do it that way. And you know, they kind of like learn a new way of rolling dice, which is, that, that's always a fun part for me. Late in the game, especially at our demos, almost every group, they'll be on their feet, standing up around the table kind of pacing and, and, and throwing the dice in. That's something that you just did not see in board games before. So you know, people cheering and high-fiving, and that's, again, something you never saw in board games before. <laughs> I guess it's the closest experience that geeks can come to being like a rock star because, you know, people are just like, this is so awesome, and I can't believe you made this. Writers and directors and actors, musicians, they all deal with this sort of thing. You create something that it feels right to you, and you're making something that, that you love but you just have no idea how it's gonna be accepted when it gets out there in the world. You know, when a total stranger, you see them, they don't even know that you're the designer, that you're standing there watching them and they're just having a great time. That kind of justifies everything that we've tried to accomplish. Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm April. And we're the owners of k and Games.